Dear students, today I am going to explain you about circles. See, this is O, this is AB, then here O is what? O is shanter. Okay? AB, now this portion Shaded portion, shaded portion is segment. Okay, and APB is an arc. APB is an arc. That is minor. This is also written as A, P, B like this or simply you can write A, B. This is equals to B, A. Both are same. Okay. <coughs> now, the line passing through the center. This is C. Here A, C is diameter as it passes through center so AC bisects the circle in two equal parts and they are called they are called semi circles always you have to keep in mind angle in a semi circle is 90 degree that means if you join to b then angle ABC equals to 90 degrees. This is called angle in the semi-circle. Okay? Now, these two chords I am taking near center is O. Two chords are AB and CD. So, see this is P and this is Q. Here, a Q B. It is an arc and this arc is equivalent to congruent to C P D arc. That is A B arc is equals to C D arc. Then if two arcs are equal then chord AB is equals to chord CD. If two arcs are equal, then their corresponding chords will be also equal. And not only this, the angle made by this chord is COD and AOB. That means chord AB is making angle AOB and that will be equals to angle COD. So, if this angle it is suppose 60 degree then this is also 60 degree. If it is 60 degree yeah. left then both will be same. That means you have to keep in mind that if these two chords are equal then they will make equal angles at the center. If two arcs are equal, then their corresponding chords will be equal. Vice versa, if two chords are equal, then their corresponding arcs will be equal. That means, vice versa. Vice versa means, here if these two angles are equal, it implies chord AB equals to chord CD. 
and when these two chords are equal their corresponding halves are equal so we have to keep in mind that they will be correspondingly equal now suppose one another figure i am taking in which three chords i have a b b c and a c here arc a b equals to arc b c equals to arc a c what does this mean this can be written as a b arc equals to arc b c and that is equals to arc a c then what does this imply this implies that chord a b because this a b arc extreme point is a and b a b c arcs b and c are the extreme points c a arcs c and a are the extreme points and now when the extreme points of an arc are joined it forms this chord a and b i have joined then a b is formed chord b c arcs extreme points are b and c b and c i have joined then it forms b c chord in the same way arc a c is extreme points are a and c and this has been joined then a c chord has formed so arc b c equals to chord b c arc a c means chord b c and just now i explained that equal chords make equal angles at the center equal arcs make equal angles at the center and that's why the angle that means center is o so at the center they will make equal angle now ab is making this angle bc is making oc and ac is making oc that means chord ab is making angle aob chord bc is making angle boc chord ac is making angle you see all these three angles are equal and then how how to find how much it will be you know that since o is a point here it is center where complete angle is made complete angle that means 360 degree is subtended this implies that angle aob plus angle boc plus angle aoc equals to 360 degree complete angle means always 360 degree and since just now i told all these three angles are equal it suppose all are x degree and x plus x plus x degree that is 360 degree let each angle aob equals to angle boc equals to angle aoc equals to x degree so what we get 3x degree equals to 360 degree and therefore x is equals to 360 degree by 3 that is equals to 120 degree and if this angle we know then very easily we can find the base angles of these triangles okay so in this way we will find the angles in the next video i will explain further about circles and their theorems thank you if you like please share and subscribe